The translation has always felt that brands thrive when they are being a part of culture. And Crimson Hexagon has allowed us to study culture in a way that we never thought possible. Hi, I'm Russell Pink, and I'm the Director of Analytics at Translation LLC, a creative agency in New York City. And we've been using Crimson Hexagon for many years, and it's now a vital part of not only the analytics department's process, but the entire agency's. So when I started studying social data and trying to learn from social data in order to help marketing campaigns, I hit a wall when it came to what analysis could be done. And most tools gave you volume, and gave you top authors, and really the selling point was sentiment. That seemed like the place where you could do all the analysis, you could learn so much. But when you think about people, you really can't think about them just as green, yellow, red, positive, negative, or neutral. It's just not enough to explain a human being. So we really love the ability of Crimson Hexagon to do nuanced analysis that are much more depth than just positive, negative, and neutral. A really unique and exciting opportunity came to translation when the New Jersey Nets were trying to move to become the Brooklyn Nets. And I was fortunate enough to work on this campaign. But looking at Crimson Hexagon, we did notice that almost 40% of the conversation was negative about the team in that time. And the team itself was extremely worried that this was going to overshadow their, their, their joining of Brooklyn. So the first thing we did is we looked to Jay-Z to help make the Nets a part of Brooklyn. And he was from that area, was a rags to riches story, and could relate to all different facets of that community. So once we got him to stand up for the team and be a part of the team, we started to see a lot of social conversation occur. And semantically looking at that conversation and trying to understand how can we continue the momentum that Jay-Z has started, we noticed a giant swath of conversation around Hello Brooklyn, a song he had made popular years before that references Brooklyn, obviously, shows some love to the, the community, but also has a line in it about bringing the Nets to Brooklyn at some point in the future. Hello Brooklyn, how you doing? So once we decided that Hello Brooklyn was a great opportunity for the Brooklyn Nets, we took that to our creative team and we started to build a campaign focusing on the song, the community, and also the intrigue of this new team. We had a very specific task to make a badge brand and to make it a brand that everyone from Brooklyn is supposed to stand behind, much like the New York Yankees and the Bronx. And when BuzzFeed recently released an article about 19 signs you are from Brooklyn, we were extremely excited to see that one of those reasons was you supported the Brooklyn Nets and it even featured Hello Brooklyn. So using Jay-Z, using this song that was already a part of culture, we were able to create a badge brand almost overnight. And you can now see Brooklyn Nets gear, hats, shirts all over the city. And Hello Brooklyn continues to get used today. It has now been used just over 150,000 times since the campaign launched. While Translation started their history with Crimson Hexagon based on one brand, we now use social listening on every brand that we have in our building, every brief that comes in, and every new business pitch because of the speed of the data, because of the depth of the insights, and the campaigns we've created since joining Crimson Hexagon have generated more social action and ultimately led to more purchases than any campaigns that came before them.